Oh, when did you start selling flowers? They're lovely. Yeah, Mrs. Kim just uh, bring in today. Hmm, perhaps giving you a hint? No. I would second that. We're not asking. I love getting flowers. But my love language is touch. Love language? That's how you show how you care about someone. Acts of service, words of affirmation, physical touch, gifts. Thank you for your act of service. I just are doing my job. I know that's what you tell yourself, but I see right through you. Do you know what Mrs. Kim's love language is? Me and Mrs. Kim together a long time. We don't have to know, because we know. But well, you'd be surprised. Mrs. Kim might be a person who really appreciates gifts. <clears throat> Yobo, this is for you. Oh, no, no, it's for customer. You look beautiful today, Mrs. Kim. Oh, thank you very much, Pestonina. So nice to hear. <laughs> Words of affirmation. <clears throat> you look so beautiful today, Yobo. Yeah, Pestonina already say. Physical touch. Yobo, 사랑해. Aigo. You know what, you guys are good. My army training saved he's alive. Also, you moved the ladder on me and I fell. I give to you fair warning. You said I got you. Yeah. This is terrible. I know. He fell a long way down. I meant the bandaging. I find next to dumpster. There's mud on it. I hope it's mud. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, you such an expert or you pee. Ugh, there's probably something online. It's not that bad. We should probably get back to the eaves trough. I not now, Gerard. We try to help you not to die. I'm fine or in shock. <laughs> Visible deformity might be a sign of a broken bone. Oh, he's a not a deformity. He's a just a Gerard. Hey, watch it! Oh. Oh. <sighs> Some people say I could be doctor. Pretty sure it wasn't Gerald. Huh. Someone's full of himself. I was trying to take a photo of a mold to make sure it doesn't get bigger. That's a zit. Man, my arm acne's blowing up. <laughs> Big news, y'all better sit down for this. We just heard from the astounding Trek in our audition. Meet the shortlist! We could be on the show. <laughs> really? You two? Hey, that's amazing. I mean, yeah, we were originally supposed to do it, but I'm so happy for you guys. Then why does your voice sound like that? Because I'm so happy. We kept auditioning, and now that we're a real couple, I think the producers like that. Definitely, they were super stoked. I wouldn't say they were super stoked, but they were definitely intrigued. That's exactly what I just said. No, it isn't. Oh, you're the drama couple. <laughs> These shows always have certain types. Frisky seniors, brainy nerds. Yeah, super fit couple. That's us. I could totally get Shannon on my level. Excuse me? Drama couple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't have to be any kind of couple. Being ourselves is enough. Is it? Anyway, I'm so happy for you guys. That's amazing. For you, too. If every one of them were written down, I suppose even the whole world would not have room for the books that would be written, unless they were all online. <laughs> Okay, well, that is it for the Gospel According to John. Mrs. Kim, can you close us up with a prayer? Okay. Dear? Oh, we should also send out a prayer for Mrs. Pio. Sadly, her gout has developed into kidney stones. But I pray for her. And Mr. Pio's business went under. What? When? Just last week. Okay. Uh, let's pray. On second thought, maybe everybody can do silent prayer by themselves this time. All right. But let's cap it at three minutes. It gets awkward, and it's not a competition. Hmm. Plastic dummy. Not even real. One time in Korea Army, I see my friend get a shot in a leg. Because you dropped your gun. Still, had the peaks. And the uh, Gerard elbow, 100%. This isn't just about Gerald. Alma's not, you know, she could fall, hurt herself, and we have to be ready. Yeah, yeah, okay. Good morning, class. 
I am Enrique Moratonas, a registered nurse and your instructor for what I hope will be a life-changing first aid course. Didn't want to ruin the surprise. Oh, my G. Someone call 911 because my heart is about to explode. It's OK. Just uh, teach a first aid class like a normal person. <sighs> Classic, Mr. Kim. These fine people are like my family. And here's are like a weird uncle that uh, tried to kiss everyone at a Christmas party. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Let's get going. As I was uh -oh. saying. Weird uncle going to make a speech and start to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's begin with what first aid is. First aid. So now you're the class clown? Quiet, Janet. I try to listen to Weird Uncle. <laughs> I gotta tell you, we loved your persistence. Most people stop applying after three rejections. Not us. Oh, we never know when to quit. <laughs> Do you mind if I take off my jacket? Sure, go ahead. Ugh, I told you not to bring it. Please don't start. I said that we were going to be in a room, and rooms are hot. Why are you always undermining me? Uh, do you guys need a minute? <sighs> no, it's fine, it's fine. We're just always getting into these hilarious little spats. So annoying, yet also incredibly entertaining. But don't worry, it'll be better on the show. What will? We know you want a drama couple. Look no further. Drama. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's true. We do have certain tropes on the show, but we didn't see you as the drama couple. If anything, you're more our dream couple. Really? Yeah, you're exclusive, you work together and live together, still know how to have fun, and other than whatever that just was right now, um, seem to really support each other. Well, that's very kind of you. In fact, our big question was, do you see yourselves taking your relationship to the next level anytime soon? Oh, yeah, we're like four times a week. Done. No, I meant more like an engagement. Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely, we could do that. Why? It gets us on the show. Now, it won't guarantee you a spot, but an on-air engagement, that would definitely bolster your story. Fine, we'll do it. Oh, okay, I think we need some time to talk this through. I understand. But your competition might not need as much time to think about it. Let me know. You bet. And it's more like four and a half. Mrs. Kim? Yeah, you can uh, take the rest of brownie. I don't mind. <laughs> no, not that. But I will, thank you. I just wanted to remind you that as prayer leader for the group, you actually have to lead the prayer. Yeah, I don't want to overpray and, you know, clog up line. Right. Is everything okay? Everything I pray for seems to backfire. Mrs. Pyo is more sick. Mr. Pyo crows business. Mrs. Akira still have a whooshing, whooshing sound inside her ear. Maybe I am a... The Jesus Jinx? I've never heard of that. But I'm sure you're not. Tell you what, why don't you pray for me tonight? I have a lot on my plate, and I would sleep a lot better knowing that you did. Yeah, OK. I, I pray for you. For God to give me the strength to stop at just one brownie. Or two. Actually, don't mention the brownies. Now, position your palms directly onto the sternum. I'm sorry, sternum. If uh, my sternum is uh, here, Where'd you stir that? <laughs> Ignore him. Oh, look like someone have a stow mummy issue. Anyways, uh, with arms straight, begin compressions. I guess a stow mummy issue is a normal for weird uncle. Think everyone's had enough? Hashtag bad dad jokes. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Kim. We'll soon get to serious burns. Like that one. <laughs> Maybe we a dummy for listening to weird uncle. Wow, you actually wrote that down. <laughs> I don't get what the big deal is. We were faking being the drama couple. How is this any different? So when someone says action, you're just going to get down and propose like you mean it? Pretty much, yeah. Ugh. What's the problem? Did you, did you really want to get engaged? What kind of a question is that? I don't know. I just know this feels wrong. My, my parents, my grandparents, my friends, they all watch the show. And if they see an engagement, they're going to think it's real and want to celebrate. Nothing on TV is real. Everybody knows that. Do they? All I know is that I really want to be the astounding trek with you. Oh, I can change in four months. I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe it will be real. What if I don't want it to be real? <laughs> then it'll be fake. What? I just don't think that we should get engaged because a producer suggests it. Oh, it's too bad they're not looking for a drama couple. <laughs> okay, 
thank you. Hey, Mrs. Ada. Appa. Janet. Look what I got. Hmm. Your medical degree. Congratulations. Uh, no, actually, it's a first aid certificate. Mm. Well, bandits can be tricky too, huh? Okay, see you. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, but I had to take the bus because the guy I went with took off in a huff. I leave early because I know everything. So boring. Then maybe you had time to think about how rude you were being. You're the one who disrespected me in front of whole class. You were bullying Enrique. <sighs> Just a joke, It's not a joke. At Desmond Center, we see bullying all the time. Yeah, days are joking too. And we have a constructive process to change that kind of behavior. Okay, Dr. Janet, and how you do that? Well, first I'd ask how you're feeling. I feel good. And how did you feel in class today? No problem. Did it feel a little weird being the oldest student in the class? No, what you talking? Well, if you were, you might say something like, I was feeling self-conscious, so I may have lashed out and made fun of someone to feel superior. Yeah, you lash out and make fun of me to feel superior. No, I was being you. No, you is a you, and I am me. I accept your apology for disrespect me. Very mature. No, you ain't. Here at Handy Car Rental, we see a lot of people embarking on adventures. Now it's hey. our turn to embark. Hey. You know there are no hard feelings, right? What are you talking about? I mean, I kind of went through this whole thing. I was like, ugh. And, mm. But anyway, you guys now have my blessing to trek astoundingly. Yeah, I'm not sure we will. Dude, don't tease me. That's putting a lot of pressure on the relationship. Well, it's perfect. You're the drama couple. Actually, they saw us as the dream couple and want us to get engaged on the show. Wow, that's crazy. Not that getting engaged would be crazy, just on TV. Though, if you and Shannon aren't doing it anymore, Jung Chi's on standby. I still have the t-shirts. Hey, Shannon. I didn't mean to interrupt. You weren't. Oh. Hey, you remember this? Fun Jung shenanigans? I do. I thought of it. Look, maybe we forget about being the drama couple or the dream couple and we just be ourselves and let the universe decide. And if they choose us, great, we'll do it. If not, no biggie. What if it's too late? Would these guys give up? Now it's our turn to embark on one of our own. That's a problem nowadays, huh? Can't say anything without everyone saying you're politically incorrect. It's the snowplow generation. Yeah, kids today are too sensitive. You call somebody by the wrong pronoun, you're in the doghouse. Yeah. Other day, I make a little joke about uh, someone and the Janet call me bully, huh? You want to say something? I'm good. Though, uh, it looked like Frank was gonna say something. But, but me? <laughs> no. I mean, well, okay. Uh, there is the fact you have a, a somewhat intense demeanor, uh, combined with your powerful gravitas. You have three seconds to finish. You're a bully, no question, Mr. Chin. Uh, go ahead. Say. I agree with Frank. So you think I'm a bully? Well, oh, on second thought. <laughs> you see, you're, you're being one just there. Then why are you rapping? Probably to hide the hurt and the pain. Oh, where is the pestonina? Not sure. Eddie Chan let me in. OK, maybe I start on this tire. <laughs> sounds good to me, though. Everything sounds good since the whooshing in my ears stopped. You feeling better? Yeah, must be the medicine. Or maybe somebody pray for you. Morning. Sorry I'm late. What happened? Oh, nothing. It's just a little stumble. It's completely my fault. Or maybe somebody pray for you. No, and I'm glad you did. Really, everything's fine. I'm just a klutz. Your hand? Oh, uh, yes, cooking. Also my fault. You want it? The food or my hand? Actually, both. But really, really, it's all good. <laughs> Carry on. Uh, let me help you. Oh, my God! Oh, please, Mrs. Kim, stop trying to help. Oh, no. There it goes again. The whooshing sound. So that's our position. And if you want us, we're here. But we can't promise a proposal. Can we have just covered this in a phone call? We wanted to tell you in person. To show you that with what we've gone through in the last 24 hours, we can get through anything. And we don't know what the future holds, but... We know that we'll face it together. Hmm. That's actually very sweet. 
But we're going with another couple. What? Yeah. But thank you so much for coming down. And then next time you can just call. Really? Yeah. It's much quicker. No, I mean the... We'll do it. Do what? We'll get engaged. I mean, you say that now. Marry me. What? Marry me. You don't have Jen, to... Jen, just, just marry me and we can figure it out later. The, the water might be cold, but let's just... Let's just put our feet in there. Okay. Okay? Yeah. I think we're engaged. <laughs> oh my god, we're engaged! We're engaged. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible! So we're on the show? No, we're still going with the other couple, but if you want to do that again, I can totally get this on the website. Okay, scooch a bit that way. <clears throat> Jeanette? It's okay, I forgive you. Yeah, I think we already covered this. Hello, Janet. Enrique. I don't want to interrupt anything, but you forgot your complimentary first aid kit. Thank you, that's very considerate. Okay, okay. Did you hear something? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what that means. Bye, Janet. <laughs> Stop! Fine. The other day, I was feeling funny. And when I feel funny, I sometimes make a too many joke. And what made you say those jokes? Enrique. What about Enrique? He's too emotional. <gasps> and that made you feel uncomfortable, overwhelmed, and... Vulnerable? No, stop pulling wood into my mouth, Janet. Yeah, you're going a bit overboard. I'm trying to help you. I have a better idea. It's called the chest compression of love. The hug. Okay, but I not hug you back. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, that's a long enough. It's a harassment now. That was amazing. I know. <laughs> And they almost fell for it. I'll admit, I had no idea what you were doing at first. I didn't either. But then Fun Junk Shenanigans kicked in, and I was like, yeah, OK, go with it. What made you change your mind? Something in the moment, I guess. <laughs> Unless. What? No, are you crazy? <laughs> that was fun, though, right? <laughs> we were so close. I know, we were. <sighs> I guess it wasn't meant to be. I guess not. <sighs> Now Enrique wants me to come back to class, probably to help teach, but uh, I don't know. Store come first, aid come second. <laughs> uh. mm. can you pray tonight? Yeah, okay. I mean, out loud, before we sleep. Yobo, did you just know what we're thinking? He just like an ex man. He need to hear from one of us. Out loud. Okay, then you do. What's wrong? When I first get MS, I was so mad at the Jesus. I blame him. And now, every time I pray, it's just a backfire. Like he's uh, pushing me away. Your boy. You know the Jesus better than I know the Jesus. But I know that the Jesus never push away, only pull close. Maybe you need to talk to him. It's only gonna make things worse. Oh, we talking now? Yeah. Pretending I am the Jesus. You can't be the Jesus. You're in underwear. Yeah. This is a holy underwear. Dear Jesus. Hello, young me. Good to hear from you. I try to be strong. But you feel so far away from me. I... Please answer my prayer. I'm sorry I blame you. Young me. You feel we are far apart. But I'm right here. I don't hold grudge. 
I'd help you. I know. Also, you husband is very amazing. <laughs> he is. <laughs> now go to sleep. Let there be no light. Oh, you poor prog. That's between me and the Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I feel terrible. I mean, not physically, though the foot does still throb. Oh, it's okay. No, I abandon you in your time of need. I have a very good talk with men upstairs. Mr. Kim or... Both. And I feel better now. Go ahead. Well, I wanted to let you know the reason for all my bad luck was right under my nose. Or above, to be precise. I finally got my eyes checked. <sighs> That's why I kept dropping things and tripping. Ah, oh, and did you choose that one? Well, these were just on sale, and I thought they were kind of fun. Okay, but uh, please keep praying, and never let doubt or short-sightedness get the better of you. Thank you, Pastor Nina. Maybe I can just wear them around the house. Maybe only inside the house. <laughs>